Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome on the weekly update call on all the different projects that uh, you are working on with me. Um, I've got quite a bit to say today, or quite a bit to say on a lot of, of things, but not too much on each one individually. Firstly, uh, let's talk about Gift of Legacy. There is an announcement coming on the 7th of March when Gift of Legacy got their monthly birthday call. Remember, the birthday call for Gift of Legacy is every Tuesday closest to the 10th of the month, as the launch date was 10 January 2022. We expect some good announcements. Um it is going to take uh, a bit of time to implement everything, but the developer is working on the U try to get whatever they plan to announce ready as soon as possible. And then we are going to make an announcement from our side how we're going to then operate the boards. There's going to be various options. Uh, for the people that don't know yet, we've got little chat groups on Telegram. You can't add me to the groups anymore because I'm full. I've got 2,400 groups. Uh, some of the groups uh, did finish their board, so I will leave them. The basic thing is, when you're working on a Gift of Legacy board, even if you're not the legend, open a little group for you. And then if you need advice, add me in, in there, and then I'll guide you as to what to do. Uh, if a group don't follow guidance, I leave the group and you can carry on on your own. Legend don't want to work with us. Uh, according to the guidance, then I will sponsor every single person on that board onto a perpetual board somewhere, and we leave the legend until he comes to his senses. Only one way to learn people. Don't want to listen to me? I don't help you. Easy as that. You follow my guidance word for word, or I will not work on your board. I will sponsor the whole board in on other boards. I can do that. Um we have an idea what the announcement is going to be. It's going to cause momentum. It's going to cause a lot of additional admin work. Um, and while we're on that, people, you can't expect us to sit till one or two o'clock in the morning answering messages. We appreciate messages, but make it to the point so that we can assist you fast. Phone calls after 8 is going to stop. You can't phone me in the middle of the night and in the middle of your night. Phone when it's required. If there's an urgent message and I don't get to it fast enough, according to your liking, give me a call. I will not answer it. I will call you back and then we'll find out what the story is. I will most probably then first go to the message that you send and go see what's going on there and then I'll call you. Communication is important, but you can't expect us to be on call 24-7. We need some rest once in a while. Weekends, I can see no reason why anybody must call me on a Saturday evening after 6. Anybody. There's very few selected people whose phone calls I will answer after 6. I can name them if you want. Benice, do you want me to name them? Yes, you may. I will answer a phone call from Benice, Bobby, Liana, Andrew, Festina, Lake Kinza, Erika Fisher, after six on a Saturday. And close friends who there's not much of, Toby Reineke, Patrick Warifke, and Charmaine. If you're not mentioning the names that I mentioned now, I will not answer your phone call after six. I need some private time once in a while. I prepare for the break between, because I am not Christian, I am not Jewish, but I do celebrate both the rest days. With limitations, of course. So there's a break between Sabbath and the preparation for Sunday. I want on a Sunday morning to go out of my coffee and go sit on a rock for 90 minutes and have conversations with my creator. For that, I need to rest on a Saturday evening. Stop phoning us on Saturdays. You can't work a jail board on a Saturday. Where is it? What about your family? When are you going to spend time with your children? When are you going to spend time with your wife or your husband? 
if you want to spend time with them, um, we also want to spend time with our people. Also very important, if you do not spend time with your family, what's wrong with you? Book an appointment, bring food and cool drink. I'm not allowed cake anymore. So bring some food and then I'll give you a life coaching session, which we may or may not survive, about how to manage your families. There's people on here who, who is neglecting their own families because of the platforms we're working on. It's important. I spent two days now with Patrick and Samane. Patrick showed me a few things that uh, he wanted me to look at. And uh, we looked at a lot of other things, but we, we made the time that was needed for supper special. You can't sit and work in front of a computer while you have supper with your family. Get to a table, pray for the food, and then have supper together as a family. Why are we so so bad? You are struggling and being oppressed because you don't follow basic family guidelines. Eat together. Breakfast, lunch, and supper. Why must I talk so much about this? All right, that's concerning gift of legacy. After each section, I'm going to ask or give an a, a opportunity for, <clears throat> for questions. Is there anybody that's got any question about gift of legacy? Nobody. Hello? Do you all know uh, what is going to come? Sorry. No, uh, sorry. Ah, I yes. can always depend on Sari to give me a question. <laughs> Very intelligent woman that for you who don't know Sari, she's from Finland. One of the wisest people I've seen in my life. She's got structures oh, in my. her life and she knows what to do. But she always got oh, questions my. as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I was just thinking that um, if we have uh, those uh, submarine groups uh, in Telegram, should we or should we not uh, activate them now or should we just wait for the Tuesday what is going to happen? Sorry, the amount of work that we're going to do across all the lineages is going to be huge. I would suggest that you open the little chat groups now already. Get a photo of the board in there, say hello to the people and get the people on, on the board in the group. I will advise to start now already. It's, fr it's Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday, and then two days later, there's going to be an announcement, and then all energy that we need for Gift of Legacy is going to break loose on all our boards. I've got 28 lineages that I'm going to work on. Obviously, some will get preference, depending on how deep or why, how big the lineage is. Some we've been working on, like New Beginnings, um, I am in constant conversation with Bernice about the New Beginnings boards, Hearthstone as well. Uh, on the Eagle lineage, we are going to work on that side. Basically because of the sponsor profiles, it's sitting very, very good on that board in very good positions so that we can get more uh, funds available for sponsorships. So start your little groups now. Get them ready. Get them ready. Yes, DCP boards, we're going to work on them. Because a lot of people decided not to carry on of Gift of Legacy doesn't mean I'm going to leave those boards. Uh, our, our whole Dream Lineage group got people on DCP A and B. Whatever is left of the boards, I'm busy going through mine to see what we can do and, uh, to get some movement. If you've got a DCP board, open the chat group so that we can start working on it. It's a very easy solution to get momentum. It's going to be announced on Tuesday. Um, so any DCP board, I can, I'm going to name the lineages quickly. I'm going to start at New Beginnings. And then we've got the combined Hearthstyle lineage, which is break, uh, broken up into Hope, Faith. And there's also a side lineage that we worked on, which is called the Willem lineage. We will work on that. I'm going to work on DCP A, DCP B because I've got profiles on both those lineages and a lot of our group is in there. So I'm going to assist them as well. We're going to do Dream Tracks, Dream Cruise, Dream Caravan, Dream Submarine and Dream Eagles. I am going to break up the submarine into people who is not yet uh, got their version 2 uh, board 
or profiles with their twos. I'm also going to make a subsection for version ones who is currently still hanging. If you find that your version one profile was deleted because of an error code, send a message to support so they can put you back so that when the announcement come, I can guide you as to how to get your profile on the right boards. Uh, my own lineages at the start was quite a few. I'm going to work on them. Uh, under Martin Nietling, we build a few lineages, a very close friend of mine. We're going to work on them. I'm going to introduce those lineages also to other people. Uh, Martin's team is willing to sponsor in a few positions there, uh, roughly about 100. And uh, Bobby's got a separate lineage of his own. Uh, Liana is working with him. We will assist with them as well. As they move up, obviously, they're going to put back. You don't even know what Liana and Bobby did this week to keep Gift of Legacy going. I will someday in future go back to the last few days and I will inform you how big those two people, people's role in the survival of Gift of Legacy is. So that is how we're going to work on the different boards. It's very important also to remember that a lot of boards split off <clears throat> for various reasons. Who we went too fast for a specific lineage or we went too slow. We will look at each board individually. Don't everybody now send me the boards all together. I am working out a plan to make a group where we can look at those boards. We've got a group actually and then where you can then send those those specific boards so we can look at them individually. Each board will be handled as to the situation on that board by the announcement that's coming on Tuesday. Um, concerning the groups, uh, I've made a separate group now. A lot of people keep on asking where's the Zoom link. There's a group now where I will post all the recordings and where all the Zoom links will be posted. The Zoom links when I uh, create them, I make them for 20 weeks, so you can go to the same link over and over again. Uh, so that is uh, concerning that. Any other? Sorry, does that answer your question? Are you ready for for Tuesday? I am ready. Thank you. Sounds amazing. Mm, yeah, big things coming all over the board. Any other questions on Gift of Legacy? All right, let's go to the next thing then, is Cornelian. For the people on here that's on Cornelian, we've got a Telegram group. Uh, we've been working very carefully with a plan to build our affiliate lineage in such a way that we can do things with the funds. We've got Andrew now, who's basically uh, responsible for the Seeds of Love profiles and Gift of Legacy and the whole Seeds of Love group, whose profile is moving. Um, he managed to put in a little bit more of a bigger investment in there, and I'm guiding him day by day through the steps. The last video I made on the Divine Number on Canadian, go watch the video. That is the perfect number. That is the perfect number to work with. So once you reach that number, you can then, under somebody else who is not linked to you, take another profile and work two profiles. We do have the limitation of $99 that you can withdraw per day or per instance um, if you want your withdrawal to go through in 24 hours. And that is how we work out the plan. So once you go... Over that mark, you're going to sit with a two-day withdrawal. So rather than move the funds and get a profile under another lineage. We also loaded Benice on there and on, right under his New Beginnings profile, which he is using for sponsoring people in on New Beginnings. We've also very selectively, I've bought one lineage, which is now up to level 14. I don't get commission on them. They will filter through eventually. But we've put a very, very important profile down there in on the ninth level. I've immediately then loaded the profile for Dusty and put in there all 
the funds that was available in my crypto wallets to assist that profile. I will in future, when the time is right, tell you about whose profile that is and what the effect will be on our other platforms that we're working on. It's not now the right time for it. But Dusty's got her own Canelian profile now. She's getting her first contract payout on Monday. And the Dusty, we will put more people. So if you want to take a second profile, depending on where we are, if you're already under new beginnings, uh, there is a chance that they're going to pick it up that you're in the same lineage. Then we'll rather put you under Dusty. If you're already under me, then if you want to take a second profile, just make sure you know the rules. I will explain it in more calls during the week. If you're under me, then don't take in that lineage a second profile, then we'll put you under uh, New Beginnings, which will eventually filter through to Benish. Just a quick thing, and I'm not going to mince any words here. I'm going to tell you straight. Very soon, I am going to take custodianship Yeah, that's the right word. Of two of Benice's profiles. Benice got this ugly habit of giving away all her money. It's going to stop. So very soon, she's going to give me the passwords. I am then going to change it so that she cannot confirm anybody who lands on her boards. It's time that Benice also gets some gifts for herself. So she will receive the gifts. And once there is proof that the gift is received in the bank account, I will then confirm the gift. But she's not going to confirm anything if you land on a board. A lot of people is taking chances. Oh, I don't have the money now. She will not be able to confirm the gift if there is no physical gift paid over to Benice. It's time that Benice also starts receiving for all the months and months of hard work that she did. So I will be in control of those two profiles to make sure that she can't confirm them. She asked me to do that, and I will gladly do that. It's time that she also receives. All right, so back to Cornelian. Um, if you load people, I don't worry who is loading on level four because I don't directly get commission from there, but they give commission to my level three, two, and one. And as they then follow the guidance that I gave you, the strategy that I gave you, and reinvest and work their profile value up, then eventually it falls through to me as well. I wake up in the morning with huge amounts of, of money that came through in through the night as people uh, withdraw and reinvest. Follow the guidance. There's enough videos. I will make a few, few more in the next two or three weeks. Follow the guidance. You can start with as little as $12. It's better to start with $15. $12 is a little bit shaky because you only make... Uh, what do you make on that? Not You can hardly... Yeah, you can already get your your second contract in. On 15, it's easier. On eight, eight days, you can make your second contract, and then it starts going faster. People, if you don't understand the numbers, there's a new, enough guidance calls on Canelian on the YouTube channel. Go, go watch and make sure you understand the strategy. Work yourself up to a point. If you want to earn for yourself $100 a week, then we, you, you can work out with the file how much you need to start with and when you need to reinvest. If you want to make $400 a week, uh, optimum number is 379. There's a file for that and there is a video for that. Make sure you follow that. For the people that are watching my videos without clicking the like button, don't be lazy. There's a little thumbs up. Click like on each video. We are now over 10,000 views for the last four months. Uh, the viewing hours is looking good. Uh, we will make more money that we can use for sponsorships in future from the YouTube channel as well. There's a quick thing about sponsorships. I do sponsor in people once in a while on Canelian. I also sponsor people in on other platforms, on Gift of Legacy as well. If I sponsor you, somebody now said, please, can I just get a profile going? I said, I'll give you $15, and then you follow the guidance. Question this morning is, when must you pay the $15 back? I don't want the $15 back. Once you cycle with your contracts so that you can have a constant withdrawal every day, you take $15, 
and get one of your friends on board and fund fund the first contract. With Gift of Legacy, same thing. I don't want the money back. You will play it forward. But what's very important on both these platforms, Gift of Legacy and Canelian, is to make sure that the people know how the system works, that people know what they need to do, that they got their crypto wallets in place. We are having a crypto training call at half past two. Make sure before you sponsor somebody in that they understand the Gift of Legacy or that they understand Canelian. Gift of Legacy is very easy. It's a two-by-two two system. Make sure they understand the finer details about making a lineage stronger. They don't have to know at that stage. But make sure they understand how to create the invite link, that they know how to talk to people, that they got the gifting platforms in place. We can't sponsor people in. We found that on the caravan. We lost more than 100 people who never even locked into their profiles. They were sponsored by me personally on that platform, on that lineage. All right, that's about Canelian. Is there any questions about Canelian? Good afternoon, Captain. I have a question, Mr. Um yeah. I joined um, Canelian before um, you sent out that um, spreadsheet. So I, I'm not under under you or Bernice or anybody. So what I'm asking is, how can I? I only have one cell phone. Um, how can I, if I want to join under either one of you, how can I do that with a second account? Because I understand one can only on do the, one account. You log in on the on the same device. <clears throat> Very important. You can log in on the same device. I log in with Dusty on my lap, laptop as well. I don't like working on a cell phone. It's too small. My eyes are not that strong anymore. But what is important is where you take your withdrawal to. You can deposit for an investment from any wallet. So you can use the same wallet for that. But your withdrawal for the two profiles must go to different wallet addresses. So what I, what I do, I am uh, downloaded um, Trust Wallet and I made 22 wallets or 22 names. 22 profiles on Trust Wallet. So if I must withdraw for Dusty, I take it to Dusty's wallet. And from there, I'll then reinvest if, if I want to. To get uh, Dusty funded, I took money out of seven people's wallets and put it in there. But your withdrawal must be a unique wallet address. That is the important thing. You can operate okay. multiple uh, profiles on the same device. The secret is that you must not link them from your own. You must not be on your affiliate page, show that yourself and your second profile is visible on from, from one login. So then if you want to make a second one, then you load under uh, New Beginnings or uh, I'll place you somewhere under me, then we, we also got sponsor profile. Remember, Dusty is a sponsor profile, so we can also do it there if need to be. Does that answer okay. your question? I'll contact your captain with regards mm -hmm. to a referral link, please. Yeah. Thank you. Well, very, very important now. We had an attack. I don't think anybody on here. I can go to the list of people that's on here. I don't any. I don't think any of you understands what the attack was against the server last week. It's massive. It is total chaos. Everybody got nervous. They can't log in. You can't log in. It's like Gift of Legacy last year, where you had to wait seven, eight minutes before you could log in. The server was flooded by bots. That means you can't you can't get into the server. Uh, they did place a few things. One thing that I noticed, you can't change your withdrawal address, which is also for me a very good thing because people want to move money all over the place. Uh, make sure you load your correct withdrawal address when you register. Uh, somebody on the group now asks, uh, why is the page hanging? Very easy. There's something on that computer or on that device that person is working that is not talking to the server. Press the refresh button so that it can get out of that state of hanging. Uh, login issues, if it gives you an error page, wait a few minutes, they're probably busy with a... With a uh, update or something. 
What I also found when you register, don't have too many tabs open on your computer or on your phone. Make sure they're all closed that you only got that one tab open. These people did not expect that I'm going to start working on Canadian. And when I do something, I do it properly. So there is a huge growth currently. And they made provision for that by changing service. There was an announcement that I post somewhere about changing the domain name. So don't don't get nervous. If you really struggle, if you struggle to register, we will take you through the steps, how to close all the tabs. You don't have to have Facebook and Gmail and Supersport and 17 other pages open at the same time. I work with 80 open pages normally, but if I want to go to Canelian, I go check which ones of those I can close, which I'm not going to use in the next three or four hours. Uh, I mean, I've got another new screen now. I'm going to sit very soon with three screens uh, around me. So I've got a lot of pages open. But if you do a registration, or if you want to go log in to Canelian, make sure that you've got as little as possible pages open, only the basics. Also very important, somebody asked me about IP addresses. They pick up your modem, and they, they're not going to say that it's the same person running different accounts. If I assist Yuri or somebody is now traveling, his father died, he's going for the funeral, I can log in from my device because it registers as my, uh, as my modem. Um, just make sure you log out properly. Some people don't log out from a platform. Uh, luckily, Canadian log you out by itself. Right. Um, Concerning admin, somebody asked me if they can assist me with my NPO uh, profiles on Gift of Legacy. I can't remember. I can't find the message. Just send me a message again, whoever it is, so that I can make a file for you and put a few, few profiles on there for you to check. We are going to need admin assistance in future. I'm not going to be able to con maintain the space that I'm currently doing. The pace that I worked through all these things caused me to end up in hospital and everybody got a scare. We don't want to, to get to that state again where everybody's worried about me. Uh, I did speak to a few people, younger people. They unfortunately don't have the insight into numbers that I've got. They don't have the experience to talk to people. They have been made, they, yeah, they've been made dumb by the system, basically. But we will find the right people who can understand numbers the way we do. Uh, I can talk with Benice without opening a board, and I know exactly how it looks because we understand how a board works and how Canadian works. We can work with the numbers, but we need people that we can train and eventually pay a salary to do some of the admin. The admin is going to increase hugely over the next 18 months. And by that time, I don't want to sit in front of a computer anymore any, uh, for every day for 18 or 20 hours. I want to go outside and ride a horse and put Dusty on a horse and let's go for a ride on the horse or go sit with my feet in the water at the dam or go meet people for coffee, things like that. So we will need people, but they will come at the right time. No, no stress. Uh, also on admin assistance, if Bernice asks you to do something, then do it. There's no rush to do anything, but you can't wait four days to do something that is needed on a board. We do have people who's rushing, phoning day and night to get boards moving. It's not going to happen. I will load the right people. Somebody asked me to remove somebody off a board. I will not do that. There's a reason why I placed him there. Because you want your people early on. Sorry, you're too late. If I register somebody before you, you will wait your turn. Uh, I did post uh, the Zoom schedule in that little new group that we got. Some people did join there, but uh, that's the only place I'm going to post recordings from now on. So get into the group so you can get your recordings. Just quickly, uh, Zoom schedule. Um, half past three, half past two today, Lisa will do crypto guidance. Uh, it will be a bit slower than last time and it will be a bit less information so that we can cover more in detail. Motivational call stays on Sunday with Andrew if he's got power, otherwise, I will do it alone. Uh, I'm going to have a weekly Canadian call South African time, 10 o'clock, which will be recorded for the people on the other sides of the world. 
Uh, very status update call will be also on Tuesday at 11. Uh, for this week, we moved uh, the Hardstyle Afrikaans call. No, we didn't move it. We're keeping it on, on Thursday, but we moved the English call to 7 o'clock on Friday. Useless to have a call on Monday if there's a big announcement on the Tuesday. So that call will be on Friday. The country competition that we going to have a rematch will will happen soon. I got things to do tonight, so there's no no competition call. And the Americans also asked for a bingo night. We will do all those things. We need to get closer together as a community and have some fun once in a while. Somebody said to me, I'm a whole different person when I smile or when I laugh, uh, which is not the truth. But I do look more approachable when I laugh. But you guys don't make me laugh so often, so we'll have fun nights. Uh, that's concerning the uh, Zoom schedule. Uh, YouTube, people, basic things. Click the like button when you watch the video. Watch the thing to the end. Let it finish playing on your device. Also, subscribe to the channel so you can get updates. And uh, more subscribers means the closer we can get to money that we can receive to sponsor more people in. Uh, so a few people requested if they can uh, send me a friend request on Facebook because I post a lot of motivational stuff there as well. If you're interested to follow or be a friend on Facebook, I do have a few gaps open there. I'm just under, under 5,000. I post motivational stuff two, three times a week and also some other information about other things. Uh, okay, we covered board groups, uh, strategy, uh, we will have a call uh, with the people close to me before Tuesday to discuss the, the finalization of what we're going to do with each different type of board. <laughs> each board will be handled <clears throat> individually. And then train your people, get them, get them on board. Uh, there's one other platform that I got onto uh, in the last few days. Uh, we had a call last Sunday about how, what what the strategy will be for for this platform. There's very a few very well known people already in there. I've tested it; it works. People are too much in a hurry, but we're putting things in place to make things more smoothly because of different time zones. If you're interested in that, uh, let me know, and then I will let you know how that works. It's also gifting, very, very easy gifting platform. Um, and there's a few people working together there. Again, everything flows back to Gift of Legacy. Everybody wants to make a bit of money for themselves and also create money to go work on the Gift of Legacy boards. I do know that most of us on this call got a very very special place for gift of legacy i don't I, I don't feel bad to take some of your money onto a platform where you can a little bit faster create funds to work on your gift of legacy board because gift of legacy says legacy that is the long term one that is the mother of them all so if even if you i'm on 28 platforms i'm testing another 12 currently if they work, make sure that that gives me more funds available to assist other people. Again, when you sponsor, make sure they know how it works. Uh, I still got families here. The, the one family that I assisted from last year, we started uh, with four profiles for them. They had enough money for four profiles on Gift of Legacy. And they're saving for the other people. It's a total family that lives on one plot of 17 members. Uh, 14 of them got profiles now. They're still saving for the others. I will sponsor half of that in for them, but they are saving for themselves and they, everybody knows how Gift of Legacy works. Make sure people are trained. Right, I think that is all I've got to say today. Uh, oh, there's some people on here that's on Betty. For the people that's on Betty, we are in negotiations high up with the senior people there. We did land up in a group. Uh, if you uh, in 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 my lineage, which some people in the upline made mistakes, and we are busy dealing with that and negotiating to get all your withdrawals going through and working. Once that is sorted, I will tell everybody more about Betty. Uh, if I'm comfortable, then that the withdrawals uh, is going through without hassle. Uh, 
uh, and at the right amounts that we want, then I will also tell you about Betty. It takes you 20 minutes each evening, and you can make about 2% on your money. All right, any questions? Uh, Captain, hmm. can I perhaps ask uh, something with regards to new beginnings, the logins that I do? Can yes, I ask yes, it here? Yeah. Um, I just want to know, um, um, the profiles is getting bigger and bigger or more. Um, so I'm just afraid I'm going to miss out on some because I already missed out at, you know, some profiles and it got read. If there is people on New Beginnings that is doing their logins themselves, you know, and because I go in and I see this person has already, um, you know, um, has been into the account already. You know, it's, it's almost like I almost want to say I'm wasting some time where I could have uh, logged in into a, another profile. Um, if I could maybe just, if people can maybe just let me know whose profile I don't have to worry about to log in into then I can obviously just skip those and go on to the others, if if you know what I mean. <laughs> because I've got, uh, a, I've got a lot of my own already, together with new beginnings. Uh, yeah, it's really getting too much, if Denise, I can call do it you, that. Do you, do you think we must maybe make a column for Denise on the file uh, to mark which ones is taking full responsibility to log in every two weeks on their own profile? Yes, I will appreciate that, please. Can we do that, Benish? Yeah. Is Benish still on? Benish? Sorry, Stefan. I'm saying I yes, mean, I, I think that will be good. Um, Maybe if I already um, open a, 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 a sheet or a column for the emails, and I think it's best if the new start using that one and not her own sheet. Because then uh, I can Vanessa also check if, if the uh, ones uh, uh, she can tick off on which profile she did lock in. And then from there, or maybe we can, I will ask everyone who will, who will log into their own profiles okay. but i think we must get to a point that everybody just needs to, that's the least i can do is just to log into their profiles exactly you're doing all we the work and you need to checking profiles yeah they must eventually do their own um okay so everybody that is currently checking their own profile send denise a message and say i will check my own profile every 14 days do not let me find you complain that you lost the profile because you failed to log in if you are committed to log into your own profiles, let Denise know. And then uh, Benice will show Denise where on the file to mark the people that is checking their own profiles. I will, from my side, Denise, speak to everybody that came over from my group into New Beginnings to make sure that they log in. I know that quite a few, yeah, m most of them log in on their own. They're not going to rely. Yeah, we need to take that workload off a little bit, make it a little bit less for you. Okay, so Benice, we'll we'll sort out where on the file. Yeah, you can just show Denise where you want her to mark who is checking the own and and which one she must check. Yes, so that we can see it on the file. Then then we yeah, on the yeah, same perfect. page. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. So Denise, I, you're gonna uh, have to work, a... work online. You you're gonna work on the on the new beginnings Google sheet. So there, can I put a date next to it just for my mm. because yeah, I put like to know. I did have like like Denise. If you yeah. check the file, I did open a, a column for that, for, for the logging details. I will just show you. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, once you got the dates in, just let me know so I can make sure the format. Uh, because we work so much on the file, sometimes when you enter a date, it goes to a different format. So once you got the first dates in, just let me know so I can format the whole column so that the dates looks the same. You, you don't okay. want... American date in, in line four, South African date in line five, and then a month in day seven. You want them all, all to look the same. So once you've got the dates in, let me know so we can just make sure we format that column, column right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, any, uh, any more questions?
looks like everybody is then answered. Right, if there's no more questions, uh, the Zoom uh, call for crypto trading uh, link is posted in the new group. If you're not in the group yet, it's called, let me just go check, it's called uh, Stefan Zoom links and recordings. That is the only place where I'm going to post Zoom links myself. If it's related to art style, new beginnings, uh, I will send it to Benice and she will post it. If it's related to Cornelian, I will send it to Erika or to Lisa to post it. If it's related to Berry, I will send it to uh, the group there. But if you want a once overview of all the Zoom links, go to that channel. If you want to be added, uh, who can we who can we ask to add? Uh, who's not doing anything that keeps them too busy? I don't know. We'll have to add some admins here. Let me just check quickly. If you want to be in that group, if you're part of New Beginnings or Hard Style, ask Benice to add you. Benice is admin. If you're part of Cornelian or Berry, ask Lisa to add you. If you're part of the uh, the rest of Gift of Legacy and uh, any other new platform, ask Christina. She's up to date with all the new platforms I'm working on. So that's Benice for Hard Style New Beginnings, Lisa for Cornelian and Berry. Christina, for the rest of Gift of Legacy and all the new platforms that I'm working on. Uh, yeah, that's the admins. They can add you. People, if you uh, one of the admins, uh, try add them in manually. If not, uh, there's a way to create a one-time link. I don't want links to go out all over the world because then we're sitting with scammers again. Um, so create a one-time link that the person can only use it once. Okay, so uh, that is regarding that, right? There's a few more messages here. Let's just go check. Okay. No, it's Mikala and Denise talking to each other. Mikala, why do you want to talk to Denise and not to me? <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I hope you're smiling now. <laughs> that will make you smile, Stefan. <laughs> No, everything's fine. All is fine. The sun is shining for a change in my part of the world. So, yeah, everything's fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, somebody asked me in this week, I had a long conversation with um, a young woman who needed some talking to. And she asked me, why are you so jealous? I say, I'm not jealous. I don't understand the word jealousy. I'm just very, very, uh, what is the right word? And no, no, I forgot. I'm just very possessive. If you're in my tribe, you're my yeah. tribe. Nobody yeah. will touch you. I will protect you. Ah, uh -huh. okay. So if you talk to other people instead of me while I'm hosting the Zoom call, then I will get possessive and I will talk to you about that. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> no, it's fine. Yeah, I, I just uh, saw that you two were talking about it. It's good. So everybody that wants to check their own uh, New Beginnings profiles, <clears throat> let Denise know so she can take off the, uh, can mark it on a list or on the file. All right. Um, there's a few people on here that I haven't seen their names before. I just want to know who you are. Uh, Nadine, N-N-E. Who are you? Hi, Stefan. I am the lady who runs the prayer group on your behalf. Ah, now that they make sense. Why is there N and an E behind your name? That was uh, before my husband had his own Zoom link. His name okay. is starts with an E. So that was oh, just beautiful. to indicate beautiful. that we were both there. It's good that you're on here, people. I made Nadine and Edmund on the prayer group. Uh, if you need prayer, you can send it to Nadine. She will post it in the mornings, or if it's urgent, she will post it immediately. Also, um, she's not going to mention your name if you don't want your name to be mentioned. Just mention what the prayer is needed for. Nadine, on your side, uh, I do have a few very strong prayer cells all over the world. 
Uh, once in a while, we picked up something now where somebody had to travel a long distance because his father died. Um, I will once in a while send you things like that, but on a on a direct message, uh, and then I will maybe add you then in in a specific prayer group for for urgent urgent prayers where we immediately need to to get down on our knees. But anyway, the need is responsible for the prayer group, and she's doing a very good job for that. I had to remove a few messages recently on there where somebody asked for donations. Um, it's not for donations. If you need assistance with donations and things, there's other platforms for that, not in the prayer group. The prayer group is for people who's going through health issues, people who need just normal prayer to keep their spiritual life and the relationship with God in place. Uh, if there's a food shortage, we will pray for you. We will pray that food into deliverance. No need to go buy food. God will provide. We will pray and then the right people will pitch up and then we will go buy the food or get the food to the people. If there's any financial stresses, don't tell me about financial stresses. Somebody spoke to me yesterday about um, a cash flow challenge of $3 million. Oh, sorry, 3 million rands. That they had to do some, some buying which will increase the production. That's part of how cash flow works person was in tears i said to him my tax amount for last year is much more than that how can you scream about three million rands it's needed for development so be it go on your knees and go pray mm -hmm. that god will replace that money for the normal cash flow don't talk to me about things like that we will pray for for the the productivity of that that items that were bought to make productivity better. We will pray for that so that the cash flow can be restored. But the, the money will come in that way. Don't ask funny things from God. God doesn't move in mysterious ways. He moves in mysterious times. If your cash flow is low, speak to God about it. Be direct. Tell him what is needed. You can't go sit there and, and, uh, and say, God, look after me. God wants specific. He wants to hear your voice. People, I'm going to have to start making a Zoom call maybe once a week to teach you how to pray properly. Speak to God directly and ask Him what is needed. Name Him by name. All right, Adeline, you got your hand up. You want to add something? Uh, yes, please, if you don't mind. I am constrained, as are we all in this country, by low chilling. The moment I can get online in the morning, I will, will place the, the, all the Pray request received. If there's an urgent request and I happen to have load shedding at that moment, it will have to wait until I am back online. But as soon as I get them, load shedding ends, I get them, they get posted. And as you rightly said, if anonymity is requested, torture will not get a name from me. So be assured if Contact me directly if you don't want to post it yourself in the group. I will, will condense it into one message anyway if it's posted in the group. It makes it easier for people to list pray. But uh, if you want a specific, if you want uh, your name associated with it, DM me at any time. My details are on the prayer group. Thanks. Okay, uh, Rocky, ask you, how, how do you get into the prayer group? Send uh, Nadine a message or send me a message and I'll I'll add you to the prayer group, Rocky. We currently only have the WhatsApp group. I am considering uh, at this stage for the people that is not in South Africa to also have a Telegram group for, for prayer. Recently, we had a person who asked for prayer for a nephew, and I posted the message right like that into the prayer group, a photo of the child, so we can do that at this stage, but it, it's maybe a good idea, but Nadine, I'll, I'll speak to you in the week. Maybe we must open a, a telegram one as well. Um, you can never pray enough. There's always always better to pray more than, than rather not to, enough. Right. Um, Tessa, who are you? You see, half the people, people fled the scene now because I'm calling out names. Can you believe it? 
Hi, Stefan. Um, I'm under sorry, so I'm part of her team. Good. Are you in South Africa? Yes. I'm from Islam. What connection? What connection do you have with the Finnish people? Um, I met Sari through a friend, Teresa. I think she's also joined Cornelia now, but um, we met through um, uh, GL. All I right, went for cool. a BSR yeah. session with her, and then that's how we are connected. And may I okay. add a connection between South Africa and Finland is actually Miria Parsons. Miria Parsons. Yeah, Miria, Miria has a connection there. Yes, that's how it all began uh, a, a year ago. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Miria has a good soul. She works on my nerves most days, but she's a good soul. I love her to bits. Uh, she's not on the call. Yeah, she's got on some other missions maybe today. Right, is there any uh, other questions at this stage? Right, then we finish for now. I must prepare for the training call. Luckily, I don't have to talk too much there. You can uh, unmute yourself, say bye-bye, and then uh, watch the Zoom uh, schedule. And please, on the Tuesday call, I want people on that call. If I'm going to go through the list of people present and I don't see your name there, I am going to send you a WhatsApp, a Telegram message, an SMS. I'm going to send a carrier pigeon, and I may even call you. Uh, it is very important that we are on the major calls. Gift of Legacy got a, the one major big call on a, once a month. Get on there and go listen. If it's a out of sync Canadian call, I will advise everybody who's on there and then we will get you on there. Don't be shy and scared to join Zoom calls. And I, don't be, don't run away. I am going to call you out to talk. In whichever language you can speak, I will translate if needed. All right, have a good uh, Saturday afternoon for the people celebrating Sabbath. We've got a few hours left before the sun goes down. And for the people preparing for Sunday, go to church. Do your withdrawal on Canelian and go to church after that and then pray for the new deposit you're going to make the next day. All right, bye-bye, everybody. Unmute, shout bye. Thanks, Captain. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye-bye. Rocky, please contact me on WhatsApp, not on here. Thank you. Bye-bye.